Hi there folks, Gareth here, and I'm having a look at the Pet Cube camera. This allows you to stay connected with your pet when you're not at home. This is a pretty pricey device, it's £170. You can pick it up from Mobile Fun, but it, well, it, for anyone who spends their day out of the house, and they have one animal who's sitting there alone, this might be a great idea for them. Okay, so here are here is what it does. It allows you to check on your pets when you're not home and do it in French as well, which is always handy. Italians can do it too, as can Germans. Uh, you can play with your beloved cat or dog using a safe built-in laser toy. Always sounds good. Uh, you can save your pet from obesity with daily exercise. I I'm not suggesting this actually walks your dog or anything, but you know, it sounds like it. And you can share access to your pet cube with your friends and family. Okay, so they they can check in when you're away on holiday or something, and you don't need to pay for those expensive kennels. <laughs> oh, you do. I'm, I'm, I'm not suggesting that you in any way use this whenever you go for two weeks to Disneyland or something. Okay, so there's your phone. There's your pet cube, and there's the two of them happily communicating together. Easy steps, three easy steps to connect. Uh, install the pet cube app on your smartphone. Connect the pet cube camera to power and Wi-Fi. Complete a brief registration process. Let's have a look at it first. Okay, so we have a few little stickers. This is. Maybe augmented reality or something like that. Don't know. There's a start guide on the top, which does appear to be quite full, and it's all in English. Okay. Bit of foam, and here is the pet cube. That's pretty big. It's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Uh, and in the bottom, there is another little box. We'll have a look at this. Power adapter. Micro USB cable. And a UK 3 pin adapter for the power adapter. That's all that was in there. Okay, so here we have this, right? So we have well, this black glassy type plastic on the front. There appears to be a camera there, and I'm guessing that's the laser below it. There's a, either a design or another sensor there. A pet cube, you can see a little microphone just there. And then this is metal all the way around the outside. Looks like someone's had this before me. And then there's a non-slip pad on the bottom, plus a hole for a typical tripod. Speaker on the back, kind of matte rubber feel, and uh, the, obviously the uh, charge, or is it just power? You'd think with that it would just be a, a charger, but who knows. There's power here, and then that symbol there, here. So if we turn it on, well, we'll go and get the app first, and I'll plug this in. Okay, so the Pet Cube app, 10,000 downloads with a four-star review. So this is being used, and people seem to like it, love it. Makes e uh, leaving for work easy. Does it really? It makes your coffee and all for you, and does your hair? Wow, and. Uh, another four star review so people seem to be thinking quite highly of it let's open her up and see what it's all about pet cube i'm gonna have to sign up and you can log in with facebook if not your fancy if you have facebook that is okay there we are we've got public pet cubes so you can spy on other people's there's one up in the the blue mountains humane society someone in some uh, SPCA Suncoast in the United States. Samantha has hers. Let's have a look at Samantha. No. Oh. 
well, it's night time. Oh my word, I can control the laser. <laughs> right, so uh, <laughs> this is class. <laughs> I can, there's a teddy bear over there which I can point the laser at. <laughs> oh man, I hope there is. There's a there's a microphone and a camera. Maybe that's for recording audio. Hello. Ah, video safety gallery. I can't shout insults down. Oh, that would have been so much fun had it been. But the fact that I can control the laser, that's that's bonkers. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we finished terrorizing Samantha. Uh, let's see if we can find any who are actually awake. America is generally asleep at the moment. Uh, Bailey the pig. Laser and sound are disabled. Right, okay. The owner of the pet cam has disabled them. And there's the pig's bed. He's not there. He must have gone out shopping. Uh, ginger kitties. Laser and that have been disabled. There's something flashy over there, but it's... Yeah. They must all be American. Okay, so the app allows us to go home, explore, play, followers, connect, pet cube, camera. Oh yeah, I have to plug it in. Okay, note the yellow light down at the bottom there. Okay, we're going to hit, uh, we'll, we'll move it over here so you can see it. Connect, pet cube, camera. All right, the light has started to blink. It's saying from here for me to wait a minute for the front light to blink. Sort of pulsing, more so than blinking. Press and hold the start button for three seconds until the light changes color to green. We have green. Got it? Slide left. Make sure the green light is blinking at the bottom of your pet cube camera. Connect pet cube, connect to pet cube network. Okay, so we've now got an exclamation mark beside the Wi-Fi. We've jumped on DHS DPA, which we have none. Back onto Wi-Fi. Still doing its thing. Checking, registering, connecting to PetCube network. Okay, and we pick which network we want to connect to. Okay, checking internet connection. Finishing registration. And please wait for setup to, please wait for up to a minute until your pet cube camera connects to Wi-Fi. The light in the front goes white. Oh yes, that one, right. It's kind of a, a greeny, yellowy white. Start using pet cube. Okay, we're getting a video of my legs. Hello. There's the phone in front of it. Right. Uh, we have a laser. I'll try and get it in such a way that you can actually see the laser. There we go. This is. Uh, I'm having to do it close to that, which is far away, which is low down. That's the laser for the cat to play with, or the dog. I don't think the dog's going to be too enthralled by it. They'll probably not notice it. They're a bit dumb. But the cat certainly will. A 
okay, so the laser does move. There's a, there's there's a bit of lag, well, considerable bit bit of lag, and it's not firing out the laser. There there must be something moving around inside here, a mirror or something that uh, is bringing the laser to and from. So it's a more of a fluid movement than shooting lasers here and there. Okay, we can hit that and it'll take a picture and you can share that or be done with it. Um, I don't want to do either. And then there's video. And it starts recording the video. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have a six second video. You can see here there's, this is a straight edge obviously. Um, but there's uh, quite a fisheye look to the actual the video picture here. Uh, we've moved that there. Can we? What do we do with that? Okay, so back tips, share, sound, and laser. So we go to tips. Laser controls. Swipe your fingers across the screen to position the laser. Yep. Thanks, that's great. play and see what it does. Oh, this is play. Okay, it's playback. Explore. That's okay. These are just pictures that people have taken. I'm guessing this is not actually with the pet cube these pictures have been taken. There's nothing to display at the moment, so you can find friends on Facebook through your contacts and contacts and search by name. My pet cube camera. Well, what, can, what else can we do with the actual camera? I, I'm interested by these almost augmented reality tiles. Turn the sign on. Paradox. Okay. Got it. Got it. That's just annoying. Now we can share that and then tips. What else can we do with the tips? There's there's three buttons down here. But uh, it's not letting me do anything. Oh, there we go, finally. Sharing options and talk to your pet. That's it, is it? Okay, so under the settings we have some, uh, some interesting settings. We can choose between dog and cat. What does cat do? Right. That's now flashing orange. Interesting. Uh, Wi-Fi, laser by default, laser calibration. Actually, I'm just realizing this could be public currently. I could be broadcasting this public to the cat dog lovers of the pet cube community. And they're currently looking at a tripod leg, wondering where the animal is. Share pet cube camera. And there we have a, oh, right, we can make it public during particular times. So you can schedule it. Sound allow sound and laser. Okay. 
share it with friends during particular times and with family members. All right, well, that, that seems to be the pet cube in a nutshell. Uh, we're going to go for a full written review on it, uh, and I'm going to go and plug it in and keep an eye on the cat who is in her bed. It's not exactly waterproof. It doesn't seem to, it does give me no real reason to believe that it's waterproof anywhere here. And I can't for the life of me find out what these have to do with other than you can just set them up and advertise that you use pet cube. At any rate, we'll get this uh, all plugged in and have a go with it and see what happens. All right, thanks for watching. Take care now.